I think uh, men are as faithful, faithful as their options. I do. Mm, I can see that. I guess it just depends. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because Whatever your standards are, your standards, and no one should lie to you. Right. No one should lie to you. Right. But the, the fact of the matter is like this idea that like, um, some men are just not going to be monogamous. And, and in that situation, if they're open about it and honest about it, there's some women are like, I'm fine with this. And some women are not. Yeah. No one complained. When Derek Jeter, you obviously know who Jeter is, yeah. was sleeping with Jessica Biel, Jessica Alba, and Mariah Carey. No one complained because oh. he wasn't married and mm-hmm. no one cared. And because Je- Derek Jeter was Derek Jeter, oh, yeah. no one gave a shit. No one thought, I can't believe you did that. Yeah. Why don't you settle down with one of them? When are you going to get tired of fucking these supermodels, that's, Derek Jeter? That's the no one issue, said that. though, because how come guys can do that? But then when a girl does it, she's a hoe. Welcome to the Michael Sartain okay, podcast. Okay, period. <laughs> So she's not. So it's not that it's not that she's a hoe. So I'll, I'll we'll back it up. None of this yeah. is my opinion. We're going to start yeah. with that book right there, which is the Evolutionary Psychology Textbook by Dr. David Buss. Mm-hmm. He he has a, a PhD from Berkeley. I have a friend that recommended. I have that book. Yes. Actually, yeah. So he has, he is a PhD. No, the the book you were probably recommended was the Evolution of Desire. That's actually his textbook from UT Austin. I know. Okay. I have the textbook. Oh, okay. Very I good. I literally have the nice, textbook. Nice. Yeah. I opened up and like, what am I doing? <laughs> okay. So Dr. Buss, uh, he did a study back in 1989. It's been replicated since then, and there were 37 different cultures, and these cultures have nothing to do with each other. We're talking about. Yamamamo tribe. Mm-hmm. We're talking about uh, people who live in the uh, Aboriginal people who live in the middle of Australia. Mm-hmm. They have no radio. They have no television. They have no film. They have no print work. Mm-hmm. They have no internet. And in '89, there was no internet. So, like, this is we have societies that are completely separate from each other. Mm-hmm. What happened was. Uh, behavioral psychologists believed what we would find is that men and women would be different in different societies. Mm -hmm. What evolutionary psychologists believed is that they would be exactly the same because their proclivities came from genetics. Does that make sense? Uh And what do you think happened? It's kind of a trick question because the book's right behind you. I know, but wait, so you're telling me that they still were, so they're telling me that they were still not faithful even no, it's not faithful faithful you a man's choice to be faithful has to do with honesty yeah okay? there's there's proclivity and there's behavior yeah. me wanting a man wanting to sleep with multiple women doesn't mean he does right right does it make sense right 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 because okay. it's all about what you actually do right for sure, so for yeah. sure and then another man who may actually want a committed relationship just has so many options with other women that he just doesn't get into one and we can go into explain that would be like the leonardo dicaprio or the right. george clooney with multiple women again nobody complained when clooney was with multiple women right they complain they complain when the guy down the street cheats on his wife that's horrible but when Clooney Hugh Hefner Bolzerian right. or Derek Jeter does it no one cares yeah when Tiger Woods cheats on his wife he's a liar now we care again does that make sense right that's the difference there's cheating and lying those are two different things yeah. okay yeah 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 okay or there's there's being non-faithful in lying cheating would be lying right right okay so in the studies 37 culture study if we go through all 37 cultures in all 37 cultures men were more interested in casual sex than women it wasn't a cultural thing it was a genetic thing Okay. Oh. Women were always interested in men who were taller than them in all 37 cultures. Men preferred a hip to waist ratio of 0.72. Women preferred a, sh- a shoulder to waist ratio in men of 1.65 to 1. Interesting. In all these cultures. Yes. In all of these cultures, in every single one of them, when women are asked, do you care about how many men, how many women a man has slept with? Very, very little um, attribution was given to that. And they said, do you think it's strange if a man is in his mid twenties and is a virgin? And all of them said, yes, that is strange. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. When the contrapositive was asked, when they asked the, the opposite to the men, do you care about how many women, how many men a woman has slept with? All of them said yes in all 37 cultures. It's a double standard. Uh, no, we're not saying it's not a double standard. I'm just explaining yeah. to you that the double standard exists yeah. because of genetics and not because of culture. 100% it's a double standard. That's why I can bench press 350 and you can't. There's right. a double standard. Right, right, right. Men have 17 times as much testosterone as women. Oh, who said women. I can't bench press that much? 350? I don't know. I'm super I excited. No, to... I don't, actually, I don't think I can. Yeah, bench okay, it. all right. No, but I would be. It's I'm, a lot, I'm, though. I would stop and we would make a TikTok video of you benching <laughs> 350. I would do anything. I would be so happy. No. We should do one with just fake weights and just right, have you bench like 350. I'd be like, I can't even lift this. What the fuck is this? She's out benching me. Uh, so the point is, what the, the point is, I'm not saying you're wrong, but yeah. evolutionary psychology, just like physics, physics is not a discussion of morality. Mm-hmm. Physi- physics is a discussion of what is or isn't. Right, right. Evolutionary psychology is a discussion of what is or isn't. It's not a function of morality. Right. The reality of the situation is you you belong to a species. There used to be 20 species of hominid on this planet, and we killed the other 19. Mm-hmm. We ate them. 
Mm -hmm. We killed them. We are the, the most. We are the most violent species that has ever existed on this planet. Now, you mm -hmm. and I live in a in a world where we get three square meals a day. We can call our friends. We get bathtubs. And, we're a little more and civilized. We're, we're civilized, yeah. but, but we're civilized because I know through through socialization, you're not going to rob me. You're not going to steal right. from me. I'm protected. There's a police force. I understand yeah, yeah. the original Magna Carta, which is man. Uh, creating a, a, a coalition with other men, we understand that's how civilization has been, yeah. is created. Our hunter gatherer, uh, our hunter gatherer ancestors weren't like that, right? So you know what sociopaths are, right? Yes. How does how does sociop how does something as horrible as that exist? And the the answer is genetics. Is genetics? Well, the yeah. answer correct. So sociopathy normally distributes throughout every population. So why would something like that exist? And the answer is because there had to be someone in the tribe who's willing to sneak into another tribe and bash everybody's heads right. in, in the middle of the night and not have nightmares about it. Yeah. And you say, today it's a complete evolutionary mismatch. We don't need sociopaths now, but right. we needed them back then and that's why they still exist. Does that make exactly. sense? Exactly, so you can have a predisposition to a certain genetic you know, trait Correct. because of your ancestors. Correct. From, yeah, yeah. So if all 37 of, culture, of, of these cultures where men cared more about a woman's body count than women cared about men. Mm -hmm. And in fact, what there were certain certain differences. Like for instance, virginity is one where there were there a great difference. In Poland, Sweden, Finland, and Norway, virginity was not really it was strange for a woman to be a virgin in her mid-20s. In China, women had to be virgins. It was very, mm. and even that sort of changed. Mm -hmm. But in certain countries, Middle Eastern countries, virginity for women was very much important. In the United States, absolutely not, that very not important at all. Does that mm -hmm, make sense? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That changed. But overall, men cared more about how many. Men, men cared more about how many men a woman had slept with than the vice versa. Right. And in fact, when women right. were surveyed, they thought it was strange if a man had very little uh, yeah. sexual experience whatsoever. Does that make sense? Yeah. Is it yeah. a double standard? No one's arguing with you that it's not a double standard. Yeah. But, but again, if, I, if you and I were to join the police force, you understand I have to do more push-ups than you. Right. There already is a double standard when it comes yeah. to us like joining different forces. Yeah. Right? But there's... So I don't even think that's the issue. I think it comes down to the issue when, when you look at like... I mean, if we're talking about cheating or whatever, mm -hmm. right? Because it's like, okay, if you have a body count, okay, that could yeah. have been in your past. But if if you're with somebody now and then they're with X, Y, Z at mm -hmm. the same time. Hold on, but with when you say somebody, we have to say a male somebody or a female somebody because it is different. So I'll, yeah. give, you, I'll give you another study. What Really great. His, his most recent book is called When Men Behave Badly. Mm -hmm. And in the book, he talks about when men cheat in a relationship and when women cheat. When men cheat and men who don't cheat, they report the same level of satisfaction in a marriage. Men who are cheating on their wives still love their wives. There is no correlation yeah. between cheating and loving on your wife. Yeah. When women cheat, 78% of the time, they report lower satisfaction in the marriage mm -hmm. when they cheat versus when they don't. Because it's an emotional yes. type of a thing. And 83% yeah. of the time, women fall in love with their affair partner. I could see that. For sure. men, it's like 12%. There's also something that happens when you are, when you're having sex with somebody where you release a certain chemical as a female, For sure. you know, that can make you a little bit more, get you more hooked. Oh, oh, I got, I got, I think I, it's I, got I got, yeah, oxytocin. Yeah. I got another one for you. Yeah. Women are more likely to get pregnant by their affair partners than they are by their husbands. Jesus. There's a book called by Satoshi Kanazawa and David Allen called Why Beautiful People Have More Daughters. And they go, these are like super like morally ethical, morally questionable studies that they do yeah. basically on stuff like. Man, this is, I didn't expect to go this far, but like stuff like, <laughs> like women who go through puberty earlier, generally like when, when, uh, when the father leaves the household of a girl, she tends to go through puberty earlier and they tend to be shorter. It's crazy. They do oh, studies on this. Interesting. Yeah. Because it's an adaptation for her to try to find an, another man in her life as soon as possible. It's, oh. it's crazy stuff like that. But when you, when you talk about things like that and I can show the numbers, people get canceled for this, even though there's yeah. science behind it. Yeah. You yeah. What I'm yeah. Saying? I mean, if there's, if there's a study behind it and it makes sense and there's numbers, you know, yeah. that's interesting. That's, that's really fascinating. Yeah. 